Now, I know when you guys were paying to get in here, I heard a lot of you guys, were, you were asking for me. Here I am, half off on your comedy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I got into, I got into comedy, it was kind of like an accident, actually, because, you know, I told the people at Make-A-Wish I wanted to stand up. <laughs> yeah, they thought I said, do stand up. <laughs> so much for going to that nude beach, I guess, make a wish. <laughs> but I know everyone's looking right now. I know the question everybody has, and I just want to get it out of the way. I get my hair cut at cost cutters. <laughs> they have a great punch card program you just can't resist. But no, everyone's always kind of curious about my disability. And my disability is congenital, but I want everyone to know I am very progenital. <laughs> Another progenital crowd, I love it. <laughs> You know, I'm, going to grade school was interesting for me because all, all the disabled kids went to the same grade school. And we had our different cliques. You know, we had the wheelchair cliques and we had the crutches clique and we had the wobbly walkers, which were kind of interesting, I must say. One would go down and be a clean up in aisle math department. <laughs> But we also, we also had the rich kids, yeah. Yeah, they were the ones in the motorized wheelchairs. <laughs> the bastards. <laughs> but we also had gang problems, as you can imagine, we were the original Crips. <laughs> and we had the arch rival, the blood, yeah. Yeah, they were the hemophiliac kids. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they were a bunch of smart asses because they could walk, you know. One punch in the nose, and they were done for the day. <laughs> now, I love when kids come up to me, you know, they ask, you know, what, what happens to you? And I like to use it as a nice educational moment, because I'm right eye to eye to them. And I just look at them, and I go, what the hell are you talking to strangers for, damn it? <laughs> And you adults aren't much better, really. I mean, you guys will come up to me, and I love it. They'll go, how'd you lose your legs? Ah, oh, shit, I just had them. No one moved. No one moved. God, Jesus Christ, I hope when I get home, they're in my other pair of pants. You know? <laughs> Anybody big um, Science Channel fans? I really doesn't care. I need a transition to talk about Stephen Hawking. So, <laughs> big deal. But as you guys know, Stephen Hawking just passed away. Yeah. And, it, and, and everyone, you know, thinks us disabled folks were saddened because of that. And, you know, not really. <laughs> Finally, now, someone else is going to be able to win that Disabled Person of the Year award. <laughs> Jesus Christ, 30 years running, you know? I mean, like, eight, ten years ago, that one, that Disabled Olympic something runner, I forget, a pig runner, or, I mean, oh, Blade Runner. You know, Blade Runner almost won it, but he shot whatever chance he had. Take <laughs> that to the next show. Okay, I will. Okay, go along quick, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> I got a couple I, I got a couple kids and um, I got a son and a daughter my my son is biracial and we're both pretty competitive guys so we like to go out and see who can get the most number of stairs <laughs> <laughs> now my daughter my daughter uh, when she was like seven years old she took my extra wheelchair Honest, this is a true story. She took it down the driveway and into the street. And I said, oh my gosh, you can't be doing it. That's just not safe. And 10 minutes later, she did it again. But she had her bike helmet on. <laughs> but the, you want to know the underlying story for me being the dad was, I was just glad to see she was already thinking about head protection. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but no, 
well, you know, she she's an adult now, and um, she's got a boyfriend. And I promised her, you know, I wasn't gonna, I'm not gonna point him out, and I'm gonna use an alias. I'm gonna call him Philip, okay? Call <laughs> Philip, okay? And you know, the guy thought he had it pretty much made after you know he met me. Thinks that you know, we hit it off pretty well. But then he hadn't realized he has to help me up steps in that. <laughs> he is now playing the fucking game of Survivor. <laughs> you know, there's no way he can win. And all he hopes is he stays on the island. <laughs> and so far, so good. Philip is doing well. Okay? <laughs> about it because you know Philip and my son was going to have to do it and he, she goes dad now Philip is an athlete he plays sports <laughs> thought, oh good he's a football player a wrestler you know a weightlifter he's a freaking baseball player <laughs> <laughs> I mean nothing against baseball players but the most they have to run is like 90 feet. <laughs> and when they slide and get their pants dirty, what do they do? Oh, time out, we gotta dust it off. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't even want to talk about batting average, okay? <laughs> A good batting average is 300, and we all know that. You just have to be successful three out of 10 times. Well. If you're taking my ass off 10 steps, <laughs> one, two, and three are important, and so is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All I can say, Philip, you better believe NASA where failure is not an option. <laughs> I married an, an able-bodied lady. She's one of those, got one of those standing versions. Yeah. But don't worry, she's very wheelchair accessible. Yeah. She is short and I can reach everything. <laughs> and I, we've been married for over 30 years. and then go back, okay? <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, I, and then also, um, uh, anybody done that ancestry DNA type thing, you know? <laughs> Me and my wife did it, and you know, hers came back like 30% German, 5% um, pain in the ass, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Back, I'm um, 50%. <laughs> the other percent, other 50% are like, what the fuck, you know? <laughs> now, a lot of you guys, I, you can, you can pretty much tell. I really don't need to tell you this, but I do belong to AA. Yeah, amputees anonymous. <laughs> We're working on the anonymous part. We're not, you know, we don't have that quite down. <laughs> You're, you're familiar, they have the, the 12 step program. <laughs> Zero steps in our program. <laughs> yeah. And in our program, to turn, you know, to turn yourself from, we basically just do a circle. <laughs> and to make sure there's no confusion between meeting locations, we actually meet in a bar. <laughs> I'm gonna finish on this one. I've got a bucket list. One of the items on my bucket list says I would love to be able to go to a, a service counter once and not see the latest gum everyone's fucking chewing. <laughs> 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 and the, the, the big one really is I would just, before I die, I would just like to get a good aerial view of a cleavage. <laughs> 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 Mark and Hilton, thank you.